Okay, so this is quite a, also once again, the physiology of this can be quite complex, but I'm going to try and break it down. So um, in your body, um, your body's main aim is to um, maintain homeostasis. Okay, so that means an equilibrium. Mm -hmm. um, and what happens is, and if this takes you back to your basic, I think, grade nine biology, we talk about um, how if you have um, a, like salt in water, then it either becomes hyper, it will, it will become hypertonic. So the more salt you add, it becomes hypertonic. If you take the salt out, it becomes hypotonic, okay? Mm -hmm. And water always follows salt. So if water is following salt to dilute it or to bring it to an equilibrium, you're going to increase the volume, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, when we're talking about salt and hypertension, this is, this is when your kidneys come into play. So what the kidneys do is they, there's, uh, they have a, a quite a big role, but the one main function is managing your solutes and your water. So they will be the ones that will excrete your salt and then water will follow that. Mm. But if you have too much salt in your blood vessels, you are going to um, draw the water out of your cells and increase the volume in the blood vessels, which will increase the pressure in your blood vessels. So mm. that is why doctors say, try and stay away from salt because we want to decrease that pressure in the vessel. 